Good morning, Farmton. Today is Friday, November 17th. My name is Brooklyn. Today I'm going to be bringing you the morning news. Before we get to the news, we have a Thanksgiving joke for you. What did the turkey say to the turkey hunter? Quack, quack. Today for lunch, we'll be having a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a hot dog, french fries, a fresh vegetable bar, fruit, fruit juice, and milk. Are you 18 or will you be 18 by May 14th? The Student Political Association will be holding a voter registration drive this week, and all you need is your ID, and if you don't have an ID, we need the last four of your social security number. Find your booth before school or at lunch by the cafeteria. Seniors, it is time to decide senior favorites, but we need your help. Fill out the survey on Class of 2024 Google Classroom to submit your choices for class colors, flower, motto, and song. Survey will be open through today. Students, if you are planning to take spring college classes through your NWAC, we need your paperwork before you leave today. Are you a student currently taking an NWTI course or are you interested in a future in the career and technical industry? November 28th, NWTI will be hosting a career day, including tours, vendor booths, professional exhibits, hands-on stimulations, and more. Please sign up in the Counseling Center. This event will be held at the main NWTI campus in Springdale. Teachers, if you have any announcements that you would like added to the morning news, please submit them via the Google form that was shared with you. That's going to do it for us today in the morning news, and we're now going to send it over to Devin in the Card Center with the latest and greatest in sports. Good morning, Farmington. My name is Devin in the Card Center with the latest and greatest in sports. Coach Taylor and the Cardinal basketball team was back in action Wednesday night in Clarksville taking on the Lake Hamilton. The Redbirds came away with a 64-52 victory over the Wolves. Coach Taylor and company will be back in action Saturday at Maumel. Coach Johnson and the Lady Cardinals will be back in action tomorrow in the Highland Classic. Well, that is going to do it for us today in the Card Center. Before we leave today, we would like to pass it over to Kaylee and Zach with this week's episode of Cooking with the Cards. Have a fantastic Friday and a terrific Thanksgiving break, Farmington. Cook, 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 cooking with Cardinals. Cook, 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 cooking with Cardinals. Cook, 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 cooking with Cardinals. Cooking, cooking, cooking with Cardinals. Food and super cool recipes. Need Love your help, recipes. grab your recipes. Let's go jump in, Vominos. You can lead the way, a a Cook, 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 cooking Let's with go. Cardinals. Hi, my name is Zach, and this is Kaylee. Today we'll be making candy apples. It'll call for a bag of apples, uh, melted chocolate, caramel, and candy of your choice today, we choose M&M's. So now we're going <laughs> So now we are going to need to melt our chocolate and our caramel, then put our M&M's in a separate bowl. Once the chocolate is melted, grab a skewer, stick it in the apple, and dump the apple into the chocolate, and then roll in the other bowl of M&M's and set the apples in a fridge for 20 minutes. Now we are going to need to melt our chocolate and caramel, then put our M&M's in a... Why are you laughing? <laughs> so now we are going to need to melt our chocolate and caramel, then put in our M&M's in a separate bowl. Once the chocolate is melted, grab a skewer, stick it in the apple, and dump the <laughs> apple into chocolate. And then roll in the other bowl of M&M's, then set the apples in a fridge for 20 minutes. So now we're going to put the chocolate in the microwave. Let that bad boy heat up and recook. Then we're gonna put screws in the apple. So you're going to want to grab your apple and dip it and twirl it 
in the chocolate and caramel like so. Twirl, twirl. Now let it drip for a couple seconds. And you're gonna go straight to the M&Ms, twirl and twist it in there. All right. Oh, like so. Oh, look. <laughs> Go, come on. <laughs> and you can do all sorts of candy with this. You can do uh, Reese's, Twix, S Snickers. So you, Snickers. You want to twirl it again, all right, like so. And it might get a little messy on you. We usually wear our aprons, but not today. Get this. Back off a little bit. Back in the mix. Right here. Right here, right here. Sit down there, right there. Keep on twirling and twisting. Smash it a little bit. But this one's just gonna be a chocolate covered apple. Just to try something out. Let's put it and we actually did turn the AC down a little bit in here, so this one's actually kind of frozen up, as you can see. But that's what your uh, caramel candy apple will look like at the end. After the apples are all chilled and melted, chocolate is hard, we will not. All right, after you leave the apples in the uh, freezer for about 15, 20 minutes and all chilled and melted, chocolate is hardened. We will now have some of our taste testers come try these bad boys out. You gotta wait. Bryce and Anthony, come on, try these out. Who wants a caramel? I know you, you look like a caramel type of guy. Anthony? Let me try one. Get one in your hand. I'm not trying. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mmm, mm, yummy. <laughs> so now, if it's too hard or messy to eat, you can go like this and cut it. All right, cut it again. And sometimes chocolate will fall off. I know. I can't. You gotta be that piece right there. Holy moly, these are busting. Anthony, why are you eating all the apples? Why are you busting all over the apples, man? I couldn't help myself. They're so delicious. Well, what now? Well, after that traumatic experience, we'll see you next week with Cooking with Cards. All right, cut.